Hello friends, welcome back to Raju Notes channel. Uh, I had seen you uh, in last about 15 days with the current affairs update from 16th of 31st August uh, 2021. In the present uh, video, we will do the current affairs uh, updates which have happened from 1st of September till 15th of uh, September. And uh, we will quickly analyze as to what has happened. The primary focus of ours uh, from the last uh, uh, fortnight to this fortnight has been that of Afghanistan. And in the last fortnight, uh, we had tried doing some analysis saying that now, now that almost all of the Afghanistan has fallen to Taliban, Panjshir remains the only uh, standing province in Afghanistan which is fighting against Taliban. And we thought that it will stand up for some longer time. And like all the analysis which I have done till Afghanistan till now, I failed to analysis or rather analyze this part that Panjshir will fall so soon. And uh, it this analysis of mine goes equal with a lot of other expert analysis who have been doing uh, analysis on Afghanistan from long time that uh, the Panjshir will stand up, the US will come and support it. India will support it covertly. All sorts of things failed and Panjshir kind of fell in a day. And uh, one of the major reasons what uh, it is uh, anticipated that the Pakistani Air Force and UAVs played a major role in fall of Panjshir. Though Pakistan denies it, but there has been some kind of uh, active participation of Pakistani forces into the occupation of Panjshir by Taliban. We have recovered uh, the Pakistani documents from the battle site and that is an indication that Pakistan had uh, uh, supported the Taliban and helped it to capture Panjshir. So that was a, one of the major events which had happened and we expected it to again exactly like Afghanistan to take much longer time but that did not happen and it happened very swiftly and Panjshir finally fell. So, uh, the, with Panjshir gone, now officially Taliban has taken over the entire Afghanistan uh, uh, under their control. And uh, immediately after taking over the Panjshir, the Talibani spokesperson uh, Zahibullah Mujahid that said that now the group Taliban is looking at China as one of the most important partner. Most important partner is a word what you should uh, underline. And uh, so you can understand how much money China has must have promised to Taliban in the talks which have been happening from long time. And China, as we had discussed earlier, that has been keeping, uh, wanting to keep its uh, one road, uh, one belt, one road initiative on. And uh, probably they must have given so much of money to Taliban or promised so much of money that Taliban has reached such a state that it says China is the most important uh, partner for them. Uh, meanwhile, back home, uh, the Indian government has signed a peace agreement in Assam with the uh, Karbai Anglong uh, region. In the it was it has been in the signed in for the peace in this region, and the Karbai Anglong agreement is basically meant to establish uh, the peace uh, between the uh, about uh, thousand insurgents of this area who left the violence and he they joined the mainstream and this was as a part of uh, northeast vision of uh, prosperous northeast vision what the central government is looking at and as part of this package uh, about thousand crores were announced and uh, the home minister uh, mr ramit shah and assam's chief minister uh, Mr. Uh, Himanta Biswa Sarma had uh, were present while they are during this ceremony. Uh, as part of the India's uh, help uh, to fight the COVID and also to maintain some kind of a 
diplomatic upper hand, India has sent about 150 tons of oxygen to Sri Lanka. Uh, that is basically to combat the third wave of pandemic, which is likely to again uh, kind of flare up in Sri Lanka. And uh, uh, we, as of now, know that Sri Lanka is presently going into a, a economical and a financial crunch very badly and uh, it is going towards almost towards a failed state and in the in with the increase of coronavirus cases uh, the situation in sri lanka as of now is looking very grim and uh, now india is uh, i think is and should cash on this time and go and assist in all possible manners in order for it to stop being a failed state and being used by some other elements and especially the influence of China. While China presently is more occupied with Afghanistan. The 28th edition of the Singapore India Maritime Bilateral Access was also conducted during this time that is from 2nd September to 4th September and uh, it was uh, represented by both the navies and along with their respective uh, missile destroyers and uh, India had uh, also had its uh, shipborne helicopters and also the uh, long range maritime patrol aircrafts uh, in terms of PAI 88I so finally after the after claiming to have captured the Panjshir valley uh, the talibans have sent out invitations to uh, pakistan china and russia for the government formation cer ceremony yeah, just look at this it is pakistan china and russia and uh, these are now of the people main stakeholders probably the back end of the taliban and uh, they, the invitations also have been extended to uh, you know, Qatar, Turkey and Iran. And uh, let's see how they, it figures out. But uh, we should now understand that Taliban is not the previous Taliban. It is, uh, we are seeing some slight changes into it. Um, though Taliban has now seized power in Afghanistan, but let's see as to how they can run a country and uh, but uh, we are for sure that the uh, first one amongst all the three china with its uh, economical might might uh, play a very uh, big game in the kinds of things which might unfold in future well let's it's a wait and watch uh, while all this is happening the taliban government has uh, announced the interim government in afghanistan and finally the final government also has been um, announced in Afghanistan with uh, Mullah Mohammad Hassan Akhund leading the interim Taliban government and uh, other members as uh, being appointed as deputies and other. We'll just see uh, in a, in a few, within a few minutes we'll see as to who all have got what portfolio in the present Taliban government. Well, uh, it is also a point to note that the many of uh, the ministers. Uh, now presently in the Taliban uh, government are FBI's most wanted uh, terrorists and it is now a kind of a shame for the world community and also US that uh, f wherein f where the FBI's most wanted ones are, are on a lookout with so much of bounty on, the, on their heads and these are the people who are literally there now running the country and I, I must say that the US US uh, entire US handling of the Afghanistan has been a real sorry state for any kind of a superpower and uh, the same people who are who were uh, once considered the dreadest terrorists are the ones with which America is now pleading uh, for you know them to allow planes to take off from Kabul or you know left so much of weapons for them it is really a mess what has been created in Afghanistan and it will take a long time for this to settle down but as far as the predictions goes, I, I feel it will take a long time, but I really don't know. With all the predictions going wrong on Afghanistan, uh, we are, uh, at least I am very uh, convinced that anything is possible in Afghanistan. It might also be possible that within one day, the entire Afghanistan Taliban uh, cabinet can be killed. Even that is possible or maybe uh, which I can't even think of. So let's see uh, what will that be. There it is, China, the 
now all all weather ally after pakistan turning to afghanistan and has announcing uh, were aid worth 228 crores and this is almost about 200 million yuan currency uh, worth of you know winter supplies vaccines medicines grains and that china has promised that it will give to afghanistan on the day of its formation so there china very uh, openly admitting to has to support the taliban government but all these while why china is a country which would never do anything out of pure love or pure humanitarian humanitarian aids so things why china is doing this are probably very clear number 1 it doesn't want the islamic this radical movement spreading into china through afghanistan number 2 it's uh, one road one belt initiative number 3 uh, keeping the afghans at bay from the uighur muslim problems number 4 the terrorist organization which works which are uh, which are made up of uh, the uighur muslims and their uh, you know operations from the soil of afghanistan to be curbed and slowly slowly you know finishing off that particular effect these are the probably five reasons why uh, china is so much involved and once the if i am not wrong the china is now in a new in a plan of to open up a new road uh, something like cpac instead now instead of going through pakistan now the china is planning to make a road through afghanistan to get the seaports in the western side of india so uh, in that way the entire cpac gets nullified and it gets a land access through afghanistan so i'll probably cover this topic in my next uh, um uh, a video update but this is something which might happen so probably this is why china is pumping in money into afghanistan while this is happening india and uh, india the mr ajit dobal indian uh, national security advisor met the secretary of russian security council general nikolai protusev for the consultations on afghanistan amid all this ten- uh, you know tensions and Uh, confusions going on and uh, this uh, this comes as a second step after uh, the pm modi and uh, russian president vladimir putin had uh, spoken to uh, spoken to each other on this subject and probably the india is now trying to uh, you know do the best what it is for in its own favor uh, again a surprising statement coming from Uh, us saying that uh, china will try and work out some arrangements with taliban see and in this case us also had uh, told uh, rather made a open statement that now china should not get uh, their personal enmity into while dealing with taliban it it felt as if you know us has been pleading china to help him out in the afghanistan deal and well that is uh, that is a kind of a Uh, shocker to me as far as uh, a superpower uh, doing something well russia us is also certainly putting in pressure and certainly doing some things but uh, as far as the afghanistan and china is concerned us somehow seems to seems to have uh, not got an upper hand as of now back home uh, the union cabinet has announced and approved a PLI scheme PLI here means production linked incentive scheme well this was the scheme which was announced for the textile sector and uh, about uh, 10683 crores of uh, incentives were are to be now provided to the textile industries for next over 5 years well uh, with this what will happen the fresh investments of about 19000 crores is likely to come in and it also create about 7.5 lakh jobs Uh, and the scheme is to uh, focus on the production of man made fiber and the uh, technical uh, textiles it's again on to the uh, revi- reviving this uh, uh, slowing down textile industry and having self reliance in the sector well here it is this is the taliban's new cabinet uh, in the center you can see mohammad hasan akun he is the prime minister now of the afghanistan and he will have his two deputy prime ministers one is mulla abdul salim 
Hanfu and the second one is Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar. Out of Han, uh, Hanfu and Baradar, Baradar seems to be the actual second and uh, Hanfu seems to be the third one. Well, uh, below them we have the following ministers. Uh, we have Muhammad Yaqub, the defense minister, uh, Sirajuddin Haqqani, the inter interior minister, the uh, Amir Khan uh, Muthokyu, uh, the foreign minister, Sher Muhammad Abbas will be the deputy foreign minister, Mullah Hidayat Badri is the finance minister, Abdul Hakim, the minister of justice, Karimullah Kariwaha was the he will be the information minister and Zabihullah Mujahid will be the deputy information minister. Well, majority of them are the most wanted from on the FBI's list, including the Haqqani networks. As part of the initiative to boost the indigenous capabilities and also the Atmanirbhar and the defense uh, procurements, etc., etc. A purchase of 56 uh, C-295 MW transport aircrafts from Airbus Defence and Space, which is uh, uh, from Spain, has been uh, approved. And uh, these aircrafts are to replace the uh, Indian Air Force Avro 784 planes. Well, uh, according to the ministry, 16 aircrafts will be delivered from Spain within 14 months of con uh, the signing this contract and 40 will be manufactured in India by the Tata Consortium. Well, with this, the Tata, will be, Tata Group will become the first private Indian firm to make military aircrafts and uh, the, this is a, a good step and it comes uh, as a Atmanirbhar Bharat and uh, Tata will make 40 aircrafts in India within 10 years. So, it is a good thing. Now, post formation of the uh, government of Taliban, the Taliban now wants US to remove Haqqani leaders from blacklist. We have already discussed as to how the Taliban uh, uh, government has all these militants and now uh, Taliban uh, has uh, warned the US to remove those Haqqani leaders from his backlist and uh, it, it says that US is instigating them to take action and we have just seen that the Sirajuddin Haqqani who carries our award of 10 million bounty on his head and he is there in the cabinet ministry. So it is a real mess which is going on in Taliban Afghanistan and with uh, US really taking a back seat on this issue. Amidst all this, we have uh, seen uh, China has still not stopped its intrusion in Taiwan and has been putting on pressure. While uh, all this thing is happening, the warship uh, nicknamed Carrier Killer, that is the uh, new uh, Taiwanese uh, domestic made naval warship, that has been commissioned and has been inducted. and. Uh, this warship as a part of the uh, island nation to boost its defense capabilities amongst the tension with China. Well, uh, this is the uh, Taiwan is being supported and helped by US, no doubt on that. It is now defense procurements and defense uh, preparedness has been on a rise ever since China has started uh, threatening Taiwan. US has been supporting it and probably that is the reason this thing is happening. So. Uh, uh, we had been discussing that post Afghanistan the next flare point or the flash point will be Taiwan. So let us see how that things work out maybe in future soon. The uh, as part of uh, emergency landing strip across the country for the Indian Air Force uh, a 3 kilometer long uh, emergency landing strips on national highway uh, near Barmer, Rajasthan have been inaugurated and uh, the Indian Air Force uh, had successfully landed uh, the uh, its uh, transport aircraft and even a Sukhoi uh, aircraft to test them and uh, the uh, Minister for Transport and Highway Mr. Nitin Gadkari had promised that more such uh, landing strips will be used in the country and they will be ready within a, a span of one and a half year. Now point to understand here is that one should always debate as to how much of this landing strips will enhance your defense capabilities. 
just pakistan also has such landing capable landing strips across their country but do they really help during the time of crisis if yes how if no why not so such kind of a question should come to your mind whenever uh, in case some kind of a question is asked on that and if you if you have to say how you are increasing your defense potential as to then where all such things are there you should know that one we already have one in uttar pradesh and also now in uh, barmer in rajasthan as point of the smt now facebook has unveiled its first uh, smart glasses in i think in collaboration with ray bans and this is a smart glass that can probably take your capture your photos videos help you to listen to music and also make a call from the uh, speakers built in the, within the frame now this is a very good thing though it has been launched at about 300 dollars per glasses but think it is a point of view from the uh, perspective of a defense person or the armed forces as to if this this is a one which the field commanders carry into the field uh, how will it ease out the operations especially if it is a counter insurgency operations or anti naxal operations so real time end and how it can be useful for the armed forces that is where you should uh, see this point from the 13th brick summit uh, happened and pradhan mantri narendra modi had uh, chaired this summit along with the chinese president xi jinping russian president vladimir putin and others the theme selected by the india for the duration of its chairmanship that is the brics uh, at uh, 15 uh, uh, chairmanship the brics at 15 that is intra brics cooperation for countries consolidation of consensus and the four c's that has been uh, addressed uh, by the prime minister narendra modi well uh, brics also had um, uh, adopted a counter terrorism action plan uh, during this summit the uh, excavations which were done in the areas of shivakashi in tamil nadu the uh, has revealed uh, by a carbon dating that around 3200 years old uh ex uh, you know uh, years was revealed when the ex the decarbon dating was done on rice and the soil extracted and it is now been um, confirmed that the tamira bharani civilization had did exist in tamil nadu at least about 3200 years ago and uh, the state government has announced about 15 crores uh, a museum in tirunelveli to you know exhibit the findings from this exhi- exhibition so this is a this is a one of the now a civilizations what you should also talk in, in after harappa mohenjodaro you know such kind of civilizations you know now you can have this um, tamira bharani civilization well uh, this is the one what i what i was talking of the East Turkestan Islamic Mo- Movement (ETIM). ETIM militants are the ones who were actually fighting for the uh, independent uh, to establish an independent state in China, Xinjiang Province, and they are the ones who are supporting the Uyghur Muslims. Well, see how superbly China has uh, countered this. It has forced Taliban to make a statement that ETIM militants. are no more there in afghanistan and this the taliban has categorically said that there is no place for anyone to use afghanistan against any other country well this is a a, a matter which one I, i don't know how to react to this thing but china has been successful in this it has somehow made taliban to give up the very own uh, that uh, islamic thinking as far as when it concerns to its soil so hats off to china that way the uh, first uh, meanwhile the uh, first images of the noida made uh, cargo drones ordered by the army mm. about uh, th- about 6 months back has finally taken into shape and the first visuals have come in these drones can carry up to 20 kg load of anything 
now the question of, of anything means that now the armed forces can use this drones for any possible thing up to 20 kgs it can be food it can be ammunition it can be equipment it can be uh, anything of 20 kgs can be now picked up from one place to another this will help a lot a drone team or a colony of drones once take off taken taking off from one hill to other hill feature will probably reduce the time maybe in a casavac maybe during uh, you know uh, operations and then uh, the possibilities are unlimited so uh, that is a very good thing happening and probably this was people do say that news it is there that uh, this was inspired by what chinese have done during the galwan wherein they could transport a lot of uh, stuff to the front line russia uh, on saturday had said that it has sent uh, tajikistan 12 armored vehicles and some array of military equipment well this move comes uh, due to for, for the instability in afghanistan and uh, russia is expanding its hardware and its military base in tajikistan well tajikistan is presently having an influx of uh, refugees from taliban also tajikistan is a place where the military drills have been carried out in its bases military bases and tajikistan is the one which shares the borders with afghanistan for about 1300 kilometers so it becomes really important to check the influx of either talibanis or the uh, refugees moving in india and australia also holding their first 2 plus 2 talks wherein both the external affairs ministers and the defense ministers held the uh, held their meetings and uh, along with their respective counterparts and notably india has such a framework of talks with uh, other countries including usa and japan the 2 plus 2 talks again smt point uh, the medicine from sky project medicine from sky project has been launched by the telangana government and this was launched by civil aviation minister jyoti raja sindhe Uh, sindhya on uh, saturday and uh, the medicine to sky uh, medicines from the sky project aims at transporting medicines vaccines and other essential products to remote areas using the drones in telangana well this project has been taken up as a pilot project in 16 green zones in telangana we we have we are already aware as to what are the zones and how much uh, you know weight it can be carried you should be aware as to what are the drone zones available in the country well let's see how this uh, pilot project starts if it is uh, successful then probably it will be implemented national on the national level as well post uh, all this commotion in afghanistan the pakistan international airlines have said that they have resumed its flights from islamabad to kabul and uh, the necessary clearance has been taken and the civil aircrafts are now uh, landing in kabul where in taliban and asked the all the government uh, employees to join their duties back well this was bound to happen pakistan china maybe this uh, will be the next airline which will land in uh, the uh, kabul airport which is controlled now by taliban while america will keep requesting for the their aircrafts to land also amidst all this japan and vietnam have signed defense cooperation pact again again the chinese growing military influence and uh, these details about transfers of specific equipment including naval vessels and other uh, military items will be worked out in subsequent talks as per the japan's japan's defense minister and uh, we all know that uh, vietnam and japan have maritime disputes with china uh the bjp leader bupendra patel has been sworn in as the 17th chief minister in gujarat there was a change in the uh, head of the state and uh, the 59 year old uh, bupendra patel was chosen by the party after uh, 65 year old vijay rupani had resigned as gujarat chief minister after 5 years in power well uh, the reasons for this will come we will come to know it's an internal indian politics not a major topic for you to understand but something like this has happened Uh, and during this fortnight 
we had discussed about this uh, SpaceX Starlink satellites in detail in my previous videos. Well, as part of that, an update here is now uh, nearly 1800 Starlink satellites have been launched and uh, we, we, we know that uh, this is basically aim, aiming to provide global broadband connectivity via satellite constellation. We, if you want to know more data about it, you please uh, watch few of my old videos, you will get more details onto it. Well, uh, uh, I think uh, Prime Minister Modi and uh, the, uh, President Joe Biden will attend the first in-person, that is face-to-face -face quad summit, which is likely to be hoisted um, in US. And because till now, all the quad meetings have been literally virtual and they have been, uh, so probably they all, the Australian Prime Minister, Scott Morrison and Japan's Prime Minister, Mr. Suga, along with these two leaders are likely to meet on September 24th. Let's see what, has, what is this uh, organization which has just come up to counter China has to offer. Again, SMT point, the Israeli aerospace industries has uh, unveiled a remote controlled armed robot that can patrol battle tank zones, will track infiltrators and open even fire. Uh, this uh, wheeled robot is named as Rex Mark II and it is it can easily be operated by an electronic tablet and there is no need for a person to sit in it can do uh, more surveillance and it can be equipped with even two machine guns cameras sensors so it can in in addition to doing all this intelligence gathering and other stuff probably it has got the capabilities to carry an injured soldier from the battlefield to some nearby place where he is safe so a very great thing happening and uh, if such things are there India with its long borders will certainly be one of the beneficiaries if we can also adopt this technology. Uh, the US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has said that Washington is now deeply engaged with India for the over the horizon capabilities to keep a check on Afghanistan and any potential terror threats. Well, does it mean that India will now allow bases? For the US drones, well, that's a question mark. As of now, I can't commit on anything, but Afghanistan is one subject wherein all uh, analysis are keep uh, are failing because we have been on a mindset. When when I consider Indian Army, I, I know the history wherein 21 soldiers of Sikh regiment could defeat 10,000, uh, I think 10,000 or 1 lakh soldiers of Afghanistan is during Battle of Saragadi. I might be wrong on those figures, but that is a kind of a valor I know of an army. But, but uh, well, therefore, I kept thinking on those lines. But uh, in Afghanistan, probably the will to fight was not there and it fell like a pack of cards. So I can't say that. So let's see what is this over the horizon capabilities, what uh, the US is talking for and how will Indian government uh, react to this? It's a wait and watch, I guess. Well, that's all friends, I think uh, for this uh, 15 days update. And uh, if you are new to my channel and if you reach to this point to listen to me, kindly subscribe to it, stay updated and uh, uh, we will uh, keep uh, discussing such more issues. And if there is any specific topic on which you want me to make a separate video, do comment on the comments below and we will try to uh, work out a video on that also. Thank you so much for staying with me. Uh, please don't become complacent as far as the COVID is concerned. The likelihood of the threat looming on our heads for the third wave is very much there. Please don't take it lightly. Stay uh, you know, always masked up, use hand sanitizers, stay home, avoid unnecessary travels as long as possible and take care of your loved ones. Thank you so much. Have a great day.